Welcome to the Uncle's channel. Thanks for watching today. And let's talk about how to easily defeat or cheese the Orphan of Cost in Bloodborne. Now, some people will say this is the hardest fight in the game, and I have a tendency to agree with that, unless you do these particular moves, and then you'll have a much, much easier time in the battle. Now, first off, when you head into the boss arena, you aren't going to want to engage a lot of the attacks. You're going to want to keep your distance, and you're going to try to bait him to do a certain move. And that's going to be the move where he basically jumps at you. So when he has the distance between you, he'll pretty much do one of three moves. One's going to be the jump. One's going to be where he comes up and tries to hit you with the uh, placenta here. And the other one's going to be where he throws a little um, red ball at you, and it sort of blows up. So let's take up one by one. If he comes at you and he tries to just simply hit you, all you're going to want to do is just simply dodge to the left or the right, and you can avoid it pretty easily. If you want to get one slice in there, you can, but it's not necessary. The other one is when he has his distance, he's going to throw a little red ball at you. If he does this, just wait till he gets pretty close to you and jump left or to the right, and you can avoid it completely. Simple as that. And the third one, which is the one that we want, we're going to wait until he does this. He's going to jump at us, and as he's jumping at us, as soon as he jumps over our head, we're going to want to turn around and do a charged attack on him immediately. And when you do this, it opens him up for a visceral attack. You can do that and just watch how much health that it takes away. If you want to equip a rune that, of course, increases your visceral attacks, I recommend that, but it's not required. And so just simply keep baiting him out to the move where he jumps over you. And when he jumps over you, don't roll toward him. Don't do anything like that. Just simply let him jump over you and just simply turn around, do a charged attack, and then do a visceral, and you'll have his health basically depleted in no time. Now eventually, he will transfer over or transform over into stage two of the fight. And this stage is crazy. And there's really no great moves to sort of bait out on this. My best recommendation is just simply to stay close to it. Now don't like stay so close that you're like butt up next to him constantly, but don't get far enough away where he can do his lightning attacks or anything like this. My recommendation is stay roughly in the area that I am here. And of course, you can get some attacks in, back away if you need to, heal up, and then get back in there and do some attacks. Ideally, you're going to want to get behind him during the attacks. Simply dodge to the right seems to work best on getting behind him. Get your attacks in. Don't get too greedy. Back away. Heal up if you need to, and then get back in there, get behind him, get some attacks in. Don't let distance become a big deal here, otherwise his attacks get crazy powerful and can wipe you out in one hit. Keep that distance pretty close for the second phase. Second phase, definitely harder than the first phase. First phase, you can probably get through it without even losing any life, honestly. But if you follow this, you'll have defeated it in no time. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Bloodborne cheese and strategy videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play, and just simply have a great rest of the day.